Hello everybody, my name is Rebel, and welcome to Batman the Telltale Series Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham, Part 2. And let's get straight into this. It's been a while, so... Sorry, it's been a little while. And we're back at Gotham Heights Vale Residence, 5.46pm. Somebody doesn't look happy. I'm inside the Vale House. Somebody doesn't look very well over there. I think we better check how he's going. <laughs> he or she, I'm assuming it's a she. Yes, it is a she. I think. Actually, is that? I really don't know. <laughs> I think that's... Alfred, the veils are dead. One body Ugh. confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Uh, will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Well, ouch. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. I think that's, that's a little obvious. Disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Yeah, Same kind my toy and I both received, but this one's <laughs> much worse. Definitely got hit by the drugs. And a couch. I think that's what she was. Seems yeah. she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. Probably. Yeah. This is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. But how do you know if that was before or after? Obviously, you would link that to that. No. Link? Two. Surely those two link. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. I think that was obvious from the beginning, but anyway. Um, what else is happening in this house? Can we switch views? Oh, here we go. Them and hair, okay. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? Probably it was cut at a downward go. angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Hmm. Okay. Now what? Just draw open. That's the family. Doesn't look like it was a good family. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. Uh, adoption. It's a okay. letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. Oh. Yeah, the husband and the... Well, the father, I should say, and the son are both missing, so hopefully they're still alive. But they're in the pantry. Probably in the pantry. It's locked up. Oh. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Uh, that's not good. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Ugh. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Yikes. He certainly got to work quick. Yep, link that with that. Obviously they would link. Surely. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Have a look. Knife. Oh, so there's a knife involved. Doesn't look used. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? 
Probably he was trying to defend himself, but he didn't was not able to use it in the end. Is there anything else around? No. Okay, so I would link that to something. So let me link it. Okay. No. Not pausing. Sorry. Not pausing. There we go. Right click. Link that to to the belt buckle. Do those link? Yes. No? No. Okay. Will it link to the hair? It would link to the hair. Because that's how it got cut off. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. That would mean that this would then link to him. And then full picture or not? No, okay, those two don't link. So that would mean that something here would have to link to over here. So if we break that link, and if we break this link, Okay, so those two somehow link. So there's something else that we're missing. Because these two aren't wanting to link to each other. Can we... No? Okay. Bridge. No? No, I think... I doubt there would be anything... Anything... Can we link this or something? No? Can we go upstairs? No, we can't go upstairs. Very trippy to control. <laughs> okay, so these two have to link, so I don't understand. Why won't these two link? Something that we're missing. Because there's got to be something to do with that label around here somewhere. And I don't understand where. Unless it's like over here. Ah, uh, here we go. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It uh, shows the veils uh, with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Those two would think. And swing like me. Stop doing that. Okay. Right link. Link the logo with the picture. And then we got to link the logo's them. match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Not necessarily. The sun is still not being found yet. He's hopefully upstairs safe. So the belt buckle has to link to something. There's just nothing else to link this to. So, syringe and aquarines obviously link. Logo links. So, what does the belt buckle link to? There's a huge, huge smear of blood on the ground. There's a plate. There's hair. How is it? Oh, here we go. Blood splatter. That's where Large I got amounts hit. of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. What is that? Something thrown. Nothing I can see. A buckle? Let's just see if those two link. Because it's the only thing that I can think of, well, know of at the moment that links. But, I don't know. The indentation matches oh, the what? shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. 
Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Nice. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she Alfred, upstairs? I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Hopefully it's the son and he's all fine. <laughs> Obviously that was Clear. Right. Nothing here. Why would he be in the kitchen? He'll be upstairs, surely. Anything? No. Yeah, he's upstairs. Ready? Or he's in the stairs. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. That makes sense. <laughs> That's good actually. I was really worried he wasn't gonna live through this either. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything alright? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he alright? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Yeah, you're going to have to be really careful not to traumatize this kid. Any further, anyway. Hey, it's going to be okay. You're going to be all right. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I saying that I in a tone I'm something. finding very irritating. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Like, I know his Batman has got to be serious and things, but with kids, he's sort of got to let his guard down a little, but not too much. And that doesn't sound good. Get down! Ah! Oh, drone. Well, hello, Batman. What a pleasure oh, to great, see you. Joker. Hello. Penguin. Oh, Penguin. Let me okay, guess. sorry. One You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. That actually makes more sense. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. Ah! Well, ow. That was a terrible throw. Don't, don't. Set it on. Thank you and goodbye.
Nice work, kid. <gasps> oh. Oh no. They're dead. Uh. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh kid. This to exposed to that essentially. Oh, Jesus. Age. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? He was hiding in a closet when the attack started. He may know more than he realizes. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Yeah, like how that drone Turn could it. just wipe What's all that off. Here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Oh, not great. anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Alrighty. <laughs> A little bit of tension. <laughs> achievement, un achievement unlocked. Home sweet home. <laughs> A little ironic. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. But this is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. That's not but Lucius had his him. eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. But that sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. That's not good. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Uh, I'm tired of being on the defensive. 
Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Uh-oh. What's going on? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate, so the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours what? to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Uh, this is gonna be. This is hard choice. Gun as Batman could be way too aggressive, and he could. Also goes Bruce because you're more neutral and he knows him more and this is Bruce's just problem. Easier not to bad man. Talk to about. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. Then again, he's two facing. I'm really not sure how this will go. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. City Hall. I Why did I do yet. that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Okay, Harvey, let's see how this goes. We need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. Hell, I kept bankrolling your campaign even after you disavowed me to the press. Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about Selena, but I swear to you, nothing happened. You have to stop this. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. For the value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. It's not my debt to pay. What my parents did was not my fault. Nobody cares. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. How much for getting through to him? I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. I'm not the enemy. The children of Arkham are. Oh, don't you worry. I'm taking care of them tonight, too. What do you mean? Ready to go. What is he doing? He's gonna blow up things, isn't he? Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Oh man, that blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Oh, Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. You ever did it. That's what a leader does. Kill his own people, really? Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels like an acceptable price to pay. Doesn't mean that you I should still kill innocent the drugs. people for that. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. After what you've done tonight, everyone in Gotham is going to see who they really elected mayor. And when that happens, they will turn against you. On the contrary, Bruce, this is what Gotham wanted. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor, save citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. 
by killing Meanwhile, his own citizens. Somewhere in the back, they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. Oh, uh, seriously? What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Uh, Tragic, right. but unsurprising. Uh, if you life. kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepot will look like child's play. <laughs> Good to know. Probably should have punched him in the face for that. Oh, that sounded solid. Come on, keep walking. Wait, Shut up! Sounded very painful. painful. Keep moving. Uh, that one. Please, why are you doing this? Hey, he said shut up. That's probably a really stupid one, but anyway. I know that when you put that uniform on in the morning, you do it because you want to help Gotham. You are better than this. This is not how you help the city. Sometimes you need to do a little bad to do a lot of good. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, like we finally got a leader really? who wants results. Listen to yourself. You sound brainwashed. No, is it brainwashed us? We're helping it. Probably a doing the right thing. thing. <laughs> the mayor is the only reaction. one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But I, if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I, uh... Um, maybe, uh... Maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than This that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Officer, drop your weapon. You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Den just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Den's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. God, the amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Should have went for the one on I just don't understand how this could happen. He's not emperor, he's just mayor. He's declared martial law. Basically, whatever he says goes, if he believes it's for the good of the city. Uh, I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. Uh... I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. I also hope that everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. That's Lucius, what's the situation? I I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. Somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's, That's not, not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? 
penguins hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Oh, wow. Let's talk about a hard decision. Either all the tech's gone, or Alfred and, um... <laughs> what's his name? I forgot his name already. Um, could be in danger, so... Uh... I'm going home. Understood. Same Surely he can hack it back. If we save it, he should be able to hack it. And keep Penguin out of it. Otherwise, I've just made things a hell of a lot worse. Not one step further. Alfred, oh, please don't now. Die. Put the rifle down. I'm not going to hurt you. Somehow. I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. Yeah, don't the they Harvey hear I me know right now? Never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer. When uh, a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls him murderer. Shoot. Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old fashioned way. There goes the leg. Run, Alfred, run. Batman! What the hell are you doing here? You've destroyed enough lives for one night. I'm taking you in. Oh, I get it. You'll come to Bruce Wayne's aid when he needs it, but not mine. No, not when I needed it. You let that maniac penguin maim me! Look at me! This happened under your watch! I'm sorry I failed you. But it's not too late. Let me save you now. Save me? <laughs> you can't even save Bruce Wayne. He's dead. If you can't see the good I've done for this city, then you're no better than Lady Arkham. Or the Waynes. Now get out of here! Before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my <laughs> way. You stand in the way of the law. Oh, great. <laughs> I've missed. More than this, Harvey. I know. Uh oh. You know what those are? It's going up bad. Explosive slugs! <laughs> but you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours. Try and hide, Batman. See how that works out for you. Do I just let him use up all his armor? Up all his pen? Oh. Oh, no! no! The bat's mine! Use your head, Harvey. Killing me won't make you a hero. Then again, he is delusional. This don't have to kill me. Well, ouch. Alfred, please this don't die now. This old man needs to die. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alfred, your run head for it. or your heart. That sound. What the? Back! 
Lady Arkham. As long as I'm around, Gotham will be fine. They don't need someone like you. No. I'm important. I'm... I'm important! Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I, I still need to find Lady Arkham life. before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should uh... be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. I would do Arkham. Dan is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah, I just hope yeah, you're that right. joke is not going to. I'll see what I can do. do his Meantime, work with him. you stay safe out there, all right? You too, Jim. Lucius, Al, what's going on? Bruce, the computer. Oh no, he didn't couldn't I've been get doing through. everything I can. But I can't keep him out. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. This is not good. in the dark. Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. Complete. Did he promise good Joker a favour? I did. I did go along with Joker's plan. I got past the Enforcer Barricade. More when is Batman? Huh, alrighty. I am actually surprised with that because well actually that one's a hard choice. What about the next one? That'll be a hard one as well. Oh more went to the um other place, okay. Probably I should have done that to myself, but we'll, we'll find out. So that's all my choices there. Um, some I probably were bad ones, but that's just me personally. Like some of them, like like Alfred, like if he was in trouble, and if his that I know it's bad. I don't know his name, but him and the other guy, um, like I thought that he would have been able to stop him from hacking into the tech, but obviously he couldn't. So that didn't work the way I was hoping. But, like, it's Alfred. What? He's been pretty much his dad. Why would you let him be exposed? So, yeah. He probably would have died. So, yeah. Okay. So, thank you all for watching. This is the end of episode 4. And I'll see you for episode 5. So, see you everybody.